Hey guys, this is Safe with International Hairlines, and uh, I just wanted to make a quick video to my uh, students as well as um, anybody out there who may be interested in trying out uh, Dermagear as an SMP pigment. In my opinion, it's the best um, from all the ones that I've tried, um, mostly because of its uh, the fact that it's hemp infused, which um, actually accelerates the healing process. Uh, there's less redness. Um, also less pain um, but also the viscosity is really the main factor uh, it's it's a little bit thicker it's it retains in the skin a little bit better because it's less runny um, they make a great product and I'm just gonna make a quick video to show you how to mix it because there's been a little bit of confusion as, as to whether to go with you know which mixing chart you go with and and how does that translate into applying it to different skin tones so um, I hope you enjoy this video, and if you're interested in, in getting um, derma gear, just go to www.smpgear.com and order your order yours. So, the the pigment actually comes with um, two different components. This is the pigment, and this is their mixing solution. You don't have to use their mixing solution, but I highly recommend it because it's also hemp infused. You can use you know witch hazel, uh, distilled water, even uh, up to you but the viscosity on this is really good, which means it, it stays in the skin better and it's less runny than um, other pigments. So this is the mixing chart that comes along with the uh, pigment. So you see the mixing chart. Now this is great because it tells you uh, the ratio and the different shades you're gonna get with the pigment. This is obviously um, carbon based. So um, this will give you a good guide as to uh, what the shade is going to be. However, what this doesn't tell you is how it's going to settle within the skin based on the, the skin tone, right? So I, what I like to use as opposed to this particular mixing chart is I base it on the Fitzpatrick scale, right? So here you got Fitzpatrick one through six and depending on um, their skin tone, you're going to mix accordingly and there's a little bit of a range so you can kind of, you know, alter it a little bit. So for example, a Fitzpatrick one would be a ratio of one drop of pigment versus 15 drops of uh, mixing solution. A Fitzpatrick six, for example, will be, um, uh, um, sorry, one drop of pigment and three drops of mixing solution. So obviously it's darker. Now the range here is um, for a Fitzpatrick one, you can go one to 15, one to 14, one to 13. For Fitzpatrick 2, it's 1 to 12, 1 to 11, 1 to 10, etc. There's like a three shade range that you can mess around with. And what I like to do is gradually increase the darkness uh, with each session, just by, by one shade. So for example, for a Fitzpatrick 6, you'd start with a, a 1 to 3 ratio, go down to a 1 to 2, and then you finish it off with a, a 1 to 1 ratio. And that's really the darkest you ever want to go. So let me demonstrate exactly how we mix it. So Let's assume you're gonna go with a, you got a Fitzpatrick four on your chair. So the ratio here is one to seven, okay? So just because it's a ratio doesn't mean you have to, you can, you're only limited to eight drops, one drop and seven drops. You can obviously d double it up depending on, on your cup. So this particular in cup will allow somewhere, somewhere between 20 and 25 drops, right? So you wanna keep that in mind. So because I'm doing a 1 to 7 ratio, um, I'm going to double it up and go 2 to 14. That will give me 16 drops, which is more than enough for, for a session. So what I like to do is put the mixing solution first because it's a little bit lighter. So I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And the pigment, you want to shake it up really good. All right, and all you need is two drops. One, two. Mix it, and you're good to go. The beautiful thing about Dermagear too is that there's no waste. You don't need syringes and, and mixing it somewhere else and then putting it back into the cup, and you end up throwing out um, all this wasted pigment. With this, you just use the dropper you're not gonna need more than that uh, in any particular session. So this will last you a good 
two to three months. So that's why I love it uh, so much as well. So um, this is just my advice, but obviously anybody can use any pigment they want. I would highly recommend Dermagear um, with their mixing solution as well. All right, guys. Uh, see you later. Thanks.